Valley's the winner at Lakeside Speedway and the ASCS Speed Week. You heard it all live on RacingBoys.com. J.J. Hickel joins us now. J.J., how you doing, bud? Doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing pretty good. It's early. I know it's real early where you're at, and I appreciate you getting up and being a part of the show this morning. Yeah, no problem. It's it's about 7.30 here in California, but that's all good. It's uh, It was supposed to be a race day for for us today, but uh, it, it turns out the Ocean Speedway ended up getting canceled at the last minute, so uh, just kind of a kind of a day off for us, anyways. Why Why did it get canceled? Uh, they They had a bunch of fires in the area, yeah. and they it's a, an evacuation site, and Uh-oh. they decided that with all the people there, uh, there's a lot of livestock and stuff that ended up coming in. So, mm. in the in the better judgment for all the animals and stuff, they they made the choice to cancel the deal. Are, are you in any danger? Your place where you're at. No, I think we're in a pretty we're in a pretty safe place. We're not really near any of the fires. I mean, there's you know there's smoke kind of smoke and uh, some ashes coming down all over the place, but right. we're, we're in a safe place. Now, were you out there when all the lightning strikes were going on? Were you back home by then? No, I, I we just got home from our trip uh, on I think Wednesday. Oh, okay, and then, all right. And then and then I actually flew out to Skagit to race a car on Thursday, and then I just got back yesterday to uh, to come back and hopefully race today, but kind of didn't work out for us, so now now we're back and ha- have the weekend off. How, how was that to race up at Skagit with no fans in the grandstands after what you've been doing for the last couple weeks? Oh, man, what a difference. Like, a total culture shock. Just crazy. I, I mean, there's just nobody there. I mean, you know, when you're actually in the car, you don't really notice, but you go up to look at the track and stuff, and it's just like you're racing in a ghost town. It's definitely a definitely a different type of deal. I enjoy be, I enjoy having all the fans and the atmosphere that they bring. is It's a it's a whole different game, and you don't really realize how much you appreciate having people there until you got nobody. Right, right. Well, I, I don't know if you know, but Racing Boys, along with Terry Maddox, promoted that first race at Lakeside Speedway. That's our home track. Our studio is only about 20 minutes from Lakeside, and Man, what a show you put on at Lakeside Speedway. Talk about that first race and that win and and uh, what that place was like. Oh, man, I, I love that place. As soon as we walked up and looked at it, I thought it looked a lot like my home track in Washington, Grace Harbor Raceway. I was like, mm-hmm. man, this place is, it looks like a type of place we could have a good night at. And then we, we qualified real well right out of the gate and uh, did our job in the heat race, you know, and got into the dash. And the dash, we were really fast. And then... And, you know, I, I could see Madsen was really fast as well, working. He was doing like a diamond line off of one and two, and right. he, he passed me early in the feature doing the same thing. And I, I could pace him, and I tried it a couple times, and I could kind of break even, but I could see that that was getting, you know, a lot harder to hit and kind of going away. And so just kind of kept to my guns and stayed keeping the momentum up on the top, and eventually traffic kind of fell our way. I was like, I think both of us struggled through traffic, just cars kind of sliding up and being – you know, a little bit indecisive in front of us, but it, it finally shook out to where I could get a, get a shot at him. And, uh, you know, we just had a real good race for the lead, and it was pretty awesome to run Ian down and be able to get in front of him like that. As like, you know, he's he's a top-notch race car driver, so it was really good for our team and, like, real confidence boosting for everybody. And But, uh, yeah, heck of a fun race. You know, green to checker, 25 laps with lead changes like that's about all you can ask for. When, when do you think you're going to make it back to the Midwest and uh, run with the Luxor ASCS National Sprint Car Tour? Man, we'd love to see you out there full-time with us. It's probably not a possibility for you, but we'd love to see that. Yeah, well, I mean, this year I'm not sure what's going to happen the rest of the year. I uh, I would love to get back out there again, but I, I know that I'm my goal and, and our team's goal right now is to gear up and try and try and uh get get some backing and and partner with some people and run the full tour next oh, year man, you know it's, great. it's something i've always wanted to do and it's something where you know i've mentioned it to ivan and jane the owners and they're they're interested in it but it's it's you know it's a pretty tall feat it's, we don't have a very big trailer right now so it's like we there's a lot of things that would have to fall into place but we we also have you know we have the cars and the engines and you know we're we're prepared to do it. We just gotta we just gotta put it all together, and that's that's kind of the goal. This from here on out is just to uh, to get ourselves aligned to be able to get out on the road and run the whole tour. Yeah. Well, you know this uh, show's been on the air for 22 years. We got a lot of people that are out there listening. If they wanted to get a hold of you, if they wanted to be a part of your program to help you achieve those goals of running full time with the national tour, how would they get a hold of you? 
Uh, the best way I would say would be on my Facebook page. I've got like a racing page on my Facebook that okay. I update really consistently. And I, I'm always on there. I mean, I, I got an email and all that too, but I think that, you know, I, JJ Hickel racing Facebook is probably the best way to contact okay. me or to find me. And then, uh, yeah, besides that, just, I mean, I got my, my phone number and everything's on there. So okay. it's one Good. of those deals where, yeah, if you get the right person on board or get somebody, you know, somebody who loves racing like we love racing and, yeah. and have to go out there and have some fun. Congratulations. You guys put on a great show, and you weren't the only one coming from out in your part of the world. What was that like uh, traveling out with uh, some other folks you're used to Man, racing? Man, the car with? count was crazy, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. The car count was awesome. I mean, I know the first two nights we were at 38, and then the next two we were over 50. So, I, right. you, know, I mean, you can't ask for much more than that as far as car counts go. And then, yeah, like he was saying, I mean, there was a whole bunch of cars from the Northwest, Washington, Oregon. I mean, even a couple from California. So it was it was pretty fun. You know, we, we were racing all through the Midwest, but we were next to our friends and guys that we're pretty familiar with a lot of the time. So it was a pretty cool deal to see. You know, I mean, we were on the podium with uh, all three all three guys that started in Washington, which is kind of funny. You know, we've had podiums like that back at home quite a few times. Yeah. But, uh, to do it all over the country, you know, it does definitely show the solid for racing in the Northwest. 